What is going on guys? It is Dan here and we are back with From the Depths. So, uh, this is kind of my first time really playing it since the last episode. So we're going to try to pick up where we left off. Um, where were we actually? Oh yeah, that's right. We, I did this off camera, but I uh, upgraded a lot of the vehicles that we have. So that way they're going to be a little bit more effective against uh, the fire. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. In fact, I'm going to cut out while all of this is happening and we'll pop back in right in the beginning of our next fight. So I'll see you guys all in a second. So we are quickly going in to draw out the enemy force so we can fight them on our terrain, mostly because these vehicles are now incredibly slow because I just updated them. So we're going to pull back and we're going to set it to one time speed so we can see exactly what we're going up against. Alright, so this is a Strength 100. We've got a Reaper. I think that's a kind of like helicopter looking thing. Don't know. Orion. I think that's an artillery piece. Brush Cutter. Rapid Fire Gun. Orion. Artillery. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Scarab. I think those are really well armored. So we're going to see how well our Fragmentation Warheads do against them. And the Polaris. So... A scary, scary nuclear missile as well, which is always fun. So let's draw them in a little bit more and attack. So how do we want to do this? Do we want to send in the scouts to go first and soften them up a little bit? Or do we want to give them support? Because hmm, the scouts by themselves aren't going to be as effective against uh, these this faction because they're not so real like it's it's difficult to say because they have strong armor which could transport emp well but it doesn't seem to really have an effect on them so don't know entirely how we're gonna do this but it's gonna it's gonna happen somehow so let's get our scouts up nice and close. Hopefully the enemy will target them first and just make things a little bit easier on us. Ooh, that, we want to move these guys up. These guys have to be up at the top. And we're going to put the scout all the way at the bottom, which isn't even really a scout. It's kind of not really that at all. Um, let's go for a nice... 25,000 volume. Alright, so this is going to be all the stuff that spawns in. So we won't have the Maw. That's alright. We won't have an Odin, but that's alright. So we'll have all of our scout, our light tanks, and uh, the two Occam's, which is really important. And we'll have one of the Odins. So that, that, I think that's pretty good. So let's get a good look at the first things we're going to be going up against and hopefully doing much better against because I don't I don't have high hopes for our fleet. Is everyone on combat? Everyone is indeed on combat. All right, so let's get a nice look at our enemy fighting force. Oh yeah, that's right. They've got a nuclear missile. We want to target that. No, target the missile. We want to kill that before it gets anywhere near us. I don't care much about the Reaper right now. It looks cool, that's for certain. But we want to make sure that our little missile friend is dealt with as quickly as possible. Alright. Scouts, go after the brush cutter. That's probably a good course of action. Oh wait, no, wrong thing, wrong thing. We wanna, where's the missile? There's the missile, what's it going for? What's it going for? It's going for something. Oh, it's going for one of the, Oc no. Yeah, it's going for one of the Occam's. But it missed and detonated, so we're all good. So yeah, I basically just added a bunch of heavy armor to these things and they're much stronger now. I also gave the um, Odin some shielding so that way it can maintain its maneuverability. Ability. 
And the shielding seems to be holding up a little bit better now. So that's pretty good. How are we doing scout tank wise? So the scouts are attacking this poor brush cutter who quite frankly doesn't appear to be really standing a chance. The Polaris isn't a threat anymore because it's expended its missile and it's kind of a weak gun mounted to it. What is this? Is this the Scarab? Yep, this isn't- that's a lot of heavy armor. That's a lot of heavy armor. Okay, let's, um... Odin, yes. target the Help. Reaper. Let's try to get someone firing on it, so that way we can try to kill it. My computer's having a... Oh, there goes the brush cutter. Yay, team. Good work. Good work, everyone. Akum, what are you doing? You try, you're trying to focus one gun on it? I'd be surprised if you could kill it. I mean, it is sl it is moving slow enough that you... Well, that was uncalled for. Alright, so. First fight back in the action. It's actually going pretty good. It's going, it's going well. I don't think we've suffered any casualties yet. In fact, I don't think we've had any serious damage to our main... Oh, we leveled up. I don't think we've had any serious... No? No, the Odin is really the only one that's taken serious damage out of all of our major tanks and to be completely fair it's it's holding up really well our entire fighting force is doing yeah. well so we're going to spawn in on the odin and the reaper is still in the air but let's let's see everyone tar oh, there was one of the occam shells it actually might be able to shoot it out of the sky we're having everyone target it right now, so that way um, we can knock it out. Something's slowing down. Is that one of the Occam's? That might have been one of the Occam's. It's still going, so whatever it was, it wasn't devastating. But yeah, if we can if we can kill the Reaper, then we don't really have to worry about anything in the sky anymore. Uh how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? This is an important moment right here, right now. Do we want to try to kill the scarab? Yep. I think we want to... Oh. 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 Odin. Odin. Odin, are you all right? I think the Odin's fine. I think the Odin's doing pretty pretty well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the Odin basically was just like, nah, it's a scratch, it is good. Uh Polaris is pretty heavily damaged. Yes. You guys all target uh -huh. that. Let's try to get the um Yeah, let's whatever it's called, the scarab. Let's try to get that thing killed. Oh, something's AI dead. Hope that's not one of us. I think that's an enemy. <laughs> the Obscure is just out here, just picking on everything to come across. Good old Obscure. Basically undamaged, except for... Looks like the barrel's been knocked out a little bit, but I don't think that really matters, because it's over here just picking on everything itself. The thing in the sky the reaper i'm not doing well right now if you can tell i just words words aren't working um yeah this is actually this fight's going significantly better and i'm going to say that it probably has something to do with the fact that we've upgraded our tanks to have significantly better armor protection and increased firepower through the use of fragmentation shells now something we do need to work on is some sort of uh heavy anti-tank gun like hardcore just punches through armor like it's nothing because we're gonna need one of those for in the future just 
trying to... Stop moving. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Isn't it F11? To... Yep, F11 pauses it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful screenshot. There we go. Okay, what's blowing up? Ooh. Oh. It's pretty strong. But it's not as strong as the Occam. Oh, something lost a turret. I think that's an Odin. Well, its turret held out a lot longer than the previous fight, that's for certain. Oh, Polaris is too damaged. It's a shame. Something out here is too damaged. Is that one of us? Or is that just the obscure just continual continuing its rampage? I don't know what that was. What is this? Peregrine. Maybe. Peregrine? Peregrine, yes. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I was right about the Orion. It's an artillery piece that is gliding across the ground. Okay, Obscure, you've got that. You've got that real good. Oh. Something over here is too damaged. Is that the Scarab? That is the Scarab. Scarab knocked out. Team, we've made a very good effort. And I think we finally have turned the tides around. We might actually be able to win this war now. Because prior to that, it was looking a little dicey. However, off camera, I am definitely going to have to work on, like, some kind of cram cannon, heavy armor piercing tank that just, although it might not fire quickly, is going to get up close and personal with lots of armor and is going to just fire straight through heavy armor like it's nothing. I think that's what I want to try to go for. If not, we're going to make some kind of particle cannon. I think we also need to make planes. I think planes would probably be very useful against some vehicles in the what is this oh that's the peregrine it's funny because the one we saw was all dead is this the last one wow we didn't suffer any casualties this fight as compared to the last one where we had to ourselves go out and try to destroy something so i think i think this is this is definitely a good start. It's a good start. We're gonna... Hmm. Faction buffs. Gunsmiths is a good thing, because it levels up our shell velocity and accuracy, which is important. So, uh, A plus effort, everyone. Everyone fall back. Let's get all repaired. Receiving. That was... That was a really good fight. That was really good. So... We're going to save the game because it's a good idea, you know, whenever whenever something good happens and you don't want to lose your progress, we always save the game. So, bottom tile or top tile? Yes. I'm feeling our luck with the bottom tile. We're going to go with the bottom one. We're going to get wrecked. It's going to be my guess. Can we go on that tile? Yeah, we can go on that tile. But we're going to go on this tile. Draw them out. Okay, what do we got here? That's a very big vehicle. Orion, Polaris, Peregrine, Orion, Orion, Bear. Okay, so a lot of Orions. So if they target the scouts then we've got a pretty good chance at this because they're artillery pieces and I don't think they're very good artillery pieces at that. Um, they've definitely got a big gun on them, but I'm more concerned about whatever this is, the Relentless. I don't... Did we verse one in the first fight? I mean, it sounds familiar, but I don't... I, I must be thinking of something else. Alright, so the scouts, we're going to do like some kind of bulge... Thing. We're going to employ tactics from the... Why can't I... There we go. We're going to employ tactics from uh, 
World War II. We're going to create a bulge, so they're going to push forward. We're going to cut them off, and then we're going to crush them. Of course, this probably won't work, but it is worth a shot. It is definitely worth a shot. And we're going to stick to uh, 25,000 again, just so that weight doesn't completely destroy my computer, which is a good idea. So let's, uh, let's see how this goes. We're going to be missing, I think, one of the Occam's, perhaps. No, we got everything in. All right, so let's get a good look at this Relentless. If it spawned in. I don't think it spawned in. One of the Orions is taking a flight. No, that's a Peregrine. Maybe that's the reason why it's called the Peregrine, because it's like a falcon and it flies and gracefully swan dives into the ground. This is all beginning to make so much sense now. One thing I've noticed about the Steel Empire is the sun is always a bright fluorescent green. It's very nice here around this time of year, you know? Or at least that's what I've been told. Occam's inbound. Okay. This... This is gonna be a good fight. I can feel it. The Polaris isn't in yet, but that's a little... terrifying, because once it spawns in, we're all gonna be right around it, and it's gonna just launch its missile immediately. So, our only real shot at that point is to immediately know whenever it spawns in for... Oh. Oh, that has got to be the relentless. Everyone targeted that. I don't. I don't care about its little friends. That is, that is a gun. That is several guns. What is? Occam. Gonna be very careful. Care careful. Careful. That thing is firing a lot of shells downrange, and they all appear to be armor piercing. Something's AI dead. Is this one of us? Nope, that's an Orion. Okay, I can I can live with that. Okay, so the barrels have been slightly damp. I think it's on the reload. I think it's on the reload. So it's magazine fed, it would seem. It's got lots of armor. So th that... This could be a weak spot. If we can somehow get a shell to land in there. Ooh. Ooh, if we can get one in there. Okay, this thing looks strong, but it ain't strong. Uh, English, bad English words. Oh. Okay, this thing's actually really cool. But we're gonna have to destroy it for the motherland and all, you know. So, good luck team. I have complete faith in you. But once that thing starts firing again, I'm not going to be too faithful. Alright, so we're closing in. Just took a big hit. I think we did manage to lob a shell inside. Maybe. There is some pretty heavy damage in there. If you can hit the turret ring. If you can hit the turret ring. Oh, there's another good hit. We're ramming it. Ramming is an effective strategy, I've been told. Okay, don't don't ram it. It's firing again. Uh, brace for impact. Brace for impact. Yeah, those armor piercing rounds did basically nothing. Okay, so the relentless rel relentless. I don't know why that was. Yeah, that's that's really not doing anything. Uh, it looks big and scary, but it isn't really big and scary. It, it's just really big, but not that scary. I say as it does that and destroys the turret. <laughs> okay, it is it is scary. I, I will definitely say that. It's the 85. 85, that's that's pretty good. Sustained by repair, so we've got 100 seconds to get that thing back in function. Is that another 
that was another Occam. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm beginning to think these EMP missiles aren't really doing a whole lot. We're going to hop on a s obscure. Something's blowing up. Okay, it's airborne. I think his armor in the back is weak. Yeah, the armor in the back is really weak, so we've actually damaged its engine. Which means its horsepower is low. Which should mean it's going to slow down a lot. Now, if we can catch it on the reload, which I think we are right now, we might be able to do this. It has sustained some pretty large damage. Okay, Polaris isn't in yet. We really need to finish this thing off. The EMPs, I I can't tell if they're actually being used. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is not good. Obscure, you've got this. You've got lots of armor. You're designed to do this. Alright, so that Orion's AI dead. Good hit. Good hit. Something's blowing up in there. Keep going at it, Obscure. I, f I have all the faith in you. I think its engines are almost completely dead. So if we can keep chasing it like we are right now. And just hope the Polaris doesn't spawn in. Is it going to... Okay, it didn't spawn in. Which means we've still got a little bit of time. Until something else dies. In which case, it's probably going to spawn in. So, I wouldn't focus on the Orion right now. We need to, we need to kill the Relentless. It would appear, though, that it is heavily crippled, which is a good thing, because if we can keep at it, and it eventually stops, it could very well pull this off. Where, where's the AI? Is it, like, just in here? There's a lot of ammunition in there. But this thing is still going. Oh, what's that? What's too damaged? What's this? That was an Odin. This isn't going to be good because I think the Polaris is going to spawn in. Did it? Did anything spawn? Nope. Okay, well, we're still chasing down the Relentless. We just blew up one of the scouts. Good work, team. Good effort. A+. Plus. Target lock. We need to surround it. It is going for a turnaround right now, it does seem, but we need to surround it. If we're going to win this, we need to do that. Stop ramming the scouts. It's bad. I don't know where that shot was going to go, but definitely not where it was supposed to. Okay, this Akaman is in a very good position to fire into the rear. This is one heck of a tank. It is taking forever. Don't hit the scout. Don't. You actually didn't hit the scout. You did blow off most of the front section of it, but you didn't hit the scout, which is the important part. 
I'm beginning to wonder if I should be pausing the video so I don't make you guys have to sit through this because it does look like it's going to take a while. It's inevitable. We're going to kill this thing. But I don't know how long it's going to take. Alright, I think the scouts are being more detrimental than they are useful right now, so go chase down the peregrine. Let the, uh, the actual brawlers take care of the action for us. And it's raining. Okay, I'll be back when this thing is either about to die or is dead. Alright, that didn't take long at all. It is already too damaged. Uh, we knocked out another vehicle. They're still trying to kill the scouts. That's a lot of material that I would have liked to capture, but, you know, whatever. Okay, Polaris, Polaris, Polaris. Darn it. I can't, I can't, I can't see. Can't see, I can't target the missile if I can't see. There's the missile. Okay. Okay. What's it going for? Where is it going? It's going this direction. So towards... I think it's going for the Occam's. This isn't good. Team, team, I told you to target it. Never mind, it just, it just did that. Okay. That was a voice. Alright. It looks like fight number two is also going to be a very, very convincing success. We only lost one vehicle, I believe. Unless something miraculous happens and we lose another one. Which just happened, apparently. We're about to lose a ma, but again, I don't think that's too much of a concern because it's a last gen uh, piece, which we really do need to replace with something a little bit more uh, relevant, I guess we could call it. Because at the time being, it's it's not as mu as useful as it used to be. Against, for instance, like. Um, the Dustwind Gypsies were was actually, you know, useful. So, we'll probably want to replace that, too. However, I think the scouts, the way they're built, and how they're actually kind of useful for drawing fire and uh, blocking shots, whether it be from our shots or the enemy shots. They are actually pretty useful, especially for drawing out enemy forces so we can get uh, an advanced attack on them. Okay, that thing is just kind of running be nice if we can knock it out. Okay, you guys kill the Polaris. We're going to chase down the bear. The bear. We have chosen the bear. However, this fight is taking significantly longer than would be useful. See, I'm even running out of words to say and use, and it's raining, and it's been raining for quite a while, and it needs to stop, and this thing needs to get back into the action, because currently it's causing me problems, because it keeps driving away, and the Occam's just missing it, 
and I think it's basically done for because it's not firing back at us anymore and it just needs to give up I'm afraid that if I leave it alone it's going to drive off and fall off a cliff thing and then we're going to have to go pull a first ep like a first thing remember when we actually we never words words aren't working uh remember when we actually had to like dive off of the platforms to go kill things yeah i remember that too that was fun it wasn't very fun Probably going to want to update our uh, little rocket carriages, the scouts, because I think fragmentation shells are going to be a little bit more useful now. How much damage are we? 69, 82. The Polaris is, it's too slow. The bear's taking a big hit. Hopefully this knocks it out. Oh, nope, it's still driving. However, it doesn't seem to have the engine power to maintain its shield, so hopefully it'll oh, it'd be done for good. Okay, issue. I think we just disabled its turning. So we need to make it stop moving soon. Okay, it's too damaged. That counts as not moving. Polaris, what's out here? Oh, it's just an Orion. Mm, I was concerned it drove off a cliff, like everything else in this game. But I do love this game to bits, it's absolutely amazing. So team. Let's go for it. Let's go kill it. The players, uh, hmm. Leave, we'll leave the scouts to finish off the Polaris and the scout. Like the actual scout thing. Refinery. Still one of the worst looking designs I've ever made, but I guess it gets the job done. So they're going to just pummel the Polaris with EMP missiles until it croaks. Um, hmm. That's AI dead. All right. Everyone. Yes. What's that? Okay, this Odin yes. is out here for some reason, not doing anything. Wait. Oh, okay. That, that would explain why you weren't in the combat at all. Because you flipped over, like right at the beginning, apparently. Battle finished. Okay, I think this this episode's gone on long enough. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we are going to continue pushing forward and I'll hopefully have some new vehicles to show off that will further advance our cause and will hopefully be able to conquer faster. So, with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.